don't actually use that turn. That was more of a look. Look, he camps here. <laughs> now, this I just popped up with an ID, but um, so instead of doing the loop loop, have a track coming in here, split yep. up two rails, so you can choose corridor blocks. On the back I side, I, see your, I think I see where you're going with this. Make them lock together on the back here. Yeah. And then follow the boots actually to the right here and link back up to the rails here somewhere. I where don't know where here somewhere is. Where Sorry. the rail is already now. Where the rail already is. Uh huh. Yeah, I like that. Where, where the groundwork is, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like so, that. So. <clears throat> Following that system, this should be a good direction. Yeah. All right. Drive, you boy, drive. Oh, man. <laughs> Just because I know you. What do you mean, just because you know me? What are you doing? Making sure you can't derail it? I won't derail her! I'm a good driver. You've noticed this, the giant ass stop sign here? There isn't it? Oh, yeah. So, if you're new to railroads, this is the old track. Ignore this track. So, this track here is, is an old switch. I think. Are they replacing the switches? Yeah, they're replacing the switches in the new spline update. Yes. If I go all the way down here and all the way back here, this set of tracks here <laughs> is the old track. So this is the track you get when you don't play on the spline update and everything like that. You then, and I'll be honest, it's very difficult to play straight track and then it's even more difficult to place curved track. It takes, I mean, we've been, we've been recording for about an hour and a half and we've got this far. Um, the new spline update makes it so that you can place track from this end to over here in two clicks one click over there and a second click over here and it creates automatically a curve that is very 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 nice it doesn't link up to the existing rails. Um, they're not compatible with each other, which I think is fine. This is just a demonstration for you at this point in time. So we clicked once over there. He's not doing anything other than kind of mashing a few buttons to get the curvature right. Yeah, and it's going to be higher in position. Yeah. But it should be as easy as that I take number one again. Yes, I took number <laughs> one again. So at the moment with track construction, number one doesn't work as it should. So you've got to use number two. Or number three. Either just above or just below. So I'll go just above. Boom! There we go. So, this is the new lines that you were going to get with the spine update. It's... And it's smoothest turn ever. <laughs> it's so... Yeah. I want it. I need it. I ha must have it. Basically. The only issue at the moment is that the old trains do not drive on the new rails. Yeah. The only one that runs is the one that's at the freight depot at the moment, which is the Betsy on the separate line. Which we can't do anything with because we can't connect the cargo to it. Nope. And now you see our frustration. Yes. You now you see why it's taken like God knows how long to get from the freight depot here 
Well, with the spline, I think we will already be done with the entire track. Well, not I wouldn't say the entire track. I'd say the sawmill to the logging camp and well, the freight depot to the logging camp and maybe to the sawmill at a push. It's gonna be a bit sketchy, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh. Okay, now you see this is the manually placed rail. I mean, it's not too bad, but it could definitely be better. I don't know which rail I'm meant to be deleting here. Thank you. I know it doesn't look straight anymore, but that's the best you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Th this is the old rail. This is like the old way of putting it at the moment. The way that. Well, if you got the game and you didn't opt into the beta, this is how you'd play. Maybe we should put the new rail on top of the old rail, as an example. Yeah? So this is just a showcase for you all at this point in time. Whilst we have some, just a little bit of a downtime of building rail, because it's um boring. Put it into perspective. Right, there you go. So you've got this curve here, which is super smooth. I mean, this one's smooth. But you can just tell this one is, like, perfectly smooth. Not only that, look how shiny the rails are. I know. That's got, like, the new texture to it. Mm -hmm. Which I really, really like. Because as you oh. see the track here, it's not currently embedded into the groundwork. Whereas this track is like it would be in real life. <laughs> and now I just gotta do the entire track yeah. you see how many ground works i have to place just to make it to line up yeah do you want me to delete ground no not yet you're lucky boss that i have to go to work in 15 minutes why because i would have slapped your ass if you kept doing things like this hey i mean get some attention that way yeah true <laughs> <laughs> As long as we can link it up, and I don't care about groundwork, just as long as we can link it up, so I can kind of do the loop-de-loop -loop and get things, money rolling into the thing with the logging camp. I thought we said we weren't going to do loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, however we're connecting things up, I mean. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, me likey. Just need to remove the top layer of rail here. I like it. Oh my god, how did I finish this corner so perfectly? <laughs> Tell me about it. That I'm is... I'm about the switch, man. Mate, that is beautiful. Well done. That was deserved to round of applause. This is I've discovered. When linking up your rails that is in a curve going to a switch, yeah, link it up at the start of the switch, right, and then do not go forward, but follow your three feet rail until you can't go no further. Click it, and then connect it to the end of the switch. Remove those two, two top layers, and your corner will be perfect. Oh really? Okay, that's that's good to know. Damn. And you know what? I don't think you'd actually have to... Yeah, you're not going to have to replace this groundwork. <laughs> I'm going to wow. be Betsy up, I think. I'm surprised by myself there. <laughs> That's a very rare occurrence. Betsy's coming up, by the way. Perfect first try. That doesn't happen a lot. No. Um, I saw what happened. What happened? I didn't see the, what happened. The freaking cross was in the rails. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about those. I'll put the flat car a bit more back. Three rail, you. Right, come on, Betsy. Reverse. Hey! Right, I'm going to get rid of these crossroads for now. Damn, there's one thing we haven't thought of. What's that? 
Oh no. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, you go ahead. You load that one card. I'm gonna fix the problem that we forgot about. Okay. There's not actually a connection to the freight depot itself. Oh uh, yeah. I haven't. We haven't connected the freight depot. But I've done the rails to the freight depot. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Sure. Thank God for me. Shouldn't be too hard though. Right? Shouldn't be, no. Okay, so we are now linked up to the logging um <clears throat> we're gonna link up well, we're gonna fill up our first cart we're gonna take it back down to the freight depot and then i don't know where else we're gonna go from that we'll, i think we might i don't know if we're gonna attempt to link up like the round bit this episode we might leave that for another episode um but we're gonna link this take this one back see if it all works see how see how the track runs um and then depending on what time it is we'll see where we go from there so let's get this loaded up this can take three six logs this one can so we're going to take six logs and then go back as you can see we can see the weight in the top left corner um but yeah, as soon as we get two logs, I'm going to have to extend this out a little bit. So that... <clears throat> or two things, so I can actually load both of them up. Right. That is going to be loaded. Whilst we wait for that. <laughs> okay, right. We've got the reverse on. Brakes off. Regulator. Go, go, go. Oh, some of the logs have different... Textures, unless I'm just missing some of the textures. But as you can see now, Betsy's actually having a little bit more of a hard time um, control, like picking up some speed at 27%. It's because this on the back here is a lot heavier. So as we go down the hill, I'm actually going to apply some brake so we don't go too fast. If you want to know where Demon is, Demon is currently at the um, freight depot. Uh, fixing a problem that we forgot to do that you're probably all screaming at me for, but, you know. Right, let's apply some brake. Because you can actually go so fast, you run yourself off the track. Oh, I just heard you play something. <laughs> okay. So just under 50% is uh, a good place for braking, by the way. And that hill was really smooth to go down. Lovely. So yeah, we're now going to go off that direction. Um, for the logging camp and the sawmills over there somewhere not sure where but it's there somewhere this track is quite good i think i'm gonna give her a little bit more But eventually the, there will actually be proper steam coming out of the, um, I forgot what they're called. This bit here. Um, the funnel bit. This was actually a really nice smooth journey. Luckily. Yeah.
Now, I want to know if... Um, if you let me go, if you let me know down in the um, comments, guys. Oh, thanks for my little buffer. You're welcome. Um, let me know if you like seeing the building process on video and on camera, or if you'd actually like to see it. If you'd be happy for us to do some off stream, off stream, off camera, um, and you know. Get us to the logging camp so we can make a little bit more progress, a little bit quicker. Or if you wanted to see it all done on camera and on the thing. Because I, I don't mind doing either. Um, you know, they're going to be... The, the, layout <coughs> of, the layout of the videos is going to be when Demon's here, building. Um, when he's not here, it's going to be more work. So the next episode is going to be work-related. So we're going to get Betsy going up and down we've got another two freight cars there to go and pick up that demon's just paid for with my money by the looks of things or his money one of the two um okay so we've got another three to go and pick up unless he's going to get another one but yeah we've got yeah. another three to go pick up and then we'll go over to the freight depot i'll i'll extend it a little bit i can pick it all up and then we'll go back, get some more money, and hopefully we'll do that a few times to then upgrade our locomotive to a, not a porter, to the Eureka. I remember getting the Eureka in, it was a little bit buggy, wasn't it, with the tender and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so we have linked up all the way over here now i believe this is what we did last time uh, and then we'll probably add another switch about just so you guys can see we'll be another switch around here like this i know that's not centered ignore me no 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 jack naughty back more so we'll probably actually add another switch probably around just here yeah where demon has just deleted part of the track so as you can see here you see because it curved here this now doesn't line up but we'll probably add another piece of track so we can go over to here drop off things when we've got longer freight cars um and then again over this way here i think demon's gonna actually link up that which now so then we can just get on with it later on down the line because <clears throat> he's a good little helper like that could you remove that next piece of track please a uh, sure thing thank you Next piece. Uh, it's a bit janky, but I uh, do you know what I don't mind janky. Uh! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Well, she gets on with that chat. Well, guys, I. Keep calling you chat. I will stop calling you chat. Eventually. Eventually. It will, it will become a habit. Eventually. But whilst he does that, I am going to sign off for this video for today. Uh, for this episode. Uh, it's been a good one, I think. We've got a lot done. We've gone... So just to recap, we've gone from the freight depot to the logging camp. Uh, and we've done our first journey with Betsy, which is awesome. Um... The next episode will entail us taking Betsy back and forth, filling her up, uh, getting some money in, uh, so then we can do some good old... I think he's just taking it. What are you doing with her? Test drive. Ah, yeah, he's sticking around a test drive, ignore him. Um, so then we can actually get some money coming in, 
make a little bit more funds, get a better train so we can actually start taking more carts, making more money. Um, episode 3 will then entail probably going to the sawmill and back and all of that good old stuff. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the video and also share it because it helps immensely. You know, subscribing is free and so is giving the like button. Hitting the like button, not giving the like button. Although it could be giving, you could be giving the like button. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.